Okay, Itamak Skanatoni. Good morning. It is Saturday, August 12th, 2017, in the lunar cycle Okonokist Otsitsitsp. And I've just finished visiting a rattlesnake rookery where prey rattlesnakes give live birth. And this is the time of year that they do it. I've been on the lookout the last few days uh, to see if there are any neonates or newborn rattlesnakes at some of the rookeries that I know of. But the other morning, yesterday morning, I received a message from someone who tipped me off to a rookery that I wasn't aware of yet. And so I went to check it out earlier today. And unlike the other rookeries that I'm monitoring, uh, this one already has some baby snakes. So I've got some video footage I'm going to show you. This is the first litter of the year that I've encountered. Notice the grayed over, hazed over eyes of these baby snakes. This means that they're just about to shed. And I think this is part of the process that they have to go through, you know, before they move over to the, to the hibernaculum. And it's part of casting away that, that baby smell that I talked about in my video the other day when I described the relationship of the rookery where they have their babies to the hibernacula where they where they brumate for the winter so in order for them not to attract predators i believe they have their their young a little ways away from the hibernacula at a rookery at a place for for bearing young and then those young are there for a period of a couple of weeks the the mother is there with them for a short time she goes to the hibernaculum first and they remain there once they, ca they cast that skin off, they release that, that scent, I believe. That's part of that releasing of the, uh, of the smell of the new birth. And with that gone, I think they can safely move over to the hibernaculum without endangering the, the wider family that they're now a part of. <laughs> 